Uh, so, uh, today I had to call in to work because my car wasn't functional, which isn't like a great thing to call in with, but it was true. So here I am, and I actually got three packages, one of which I was actually expecting. So I'm going to open that one first. Um, okay, this is a Red Deer folding knife, Damascus steel with a spring assist, and it's basically exactly the knife I always wanted. Okay, so like, you get the prime package, right? And it comes in this little thing that says Anytime Blades, which I guess is the company. And then it comes in another one, exactly the same. Why? I don't, I don't know, maybe like, in case it gets wet. You know, Damascus steel is extra sensitive to humidity. Um, so part of me wants to believe it's for that, but maybe it was just a mistake. I don't fucking know. Okay. Oh, this is a pretty box, see? It's got all the different colors that it comes in, and it says that it is, I hope you can read that, real Damascus steel. Oh, and then it's got some buildup on the back. The origins of Damascus steel can be found in the history of Middle Eastern and South Asian sword making. Created from steel, developed in India around 300 BC. Damascus is often characterized by the banding and flowing patterns it possesses, and its reputation for being sharp, tough, and resilient. Some legend claim the power Damascus has to cut through the barrel of a gun or a hair as it falls across the Damascus blade. The name is thought to derive from the parallel between the patterns found on a Damask fabrics woven in the Byzantine Empire and the patterns found on the steel. I did the best I could. It really says all that. Ah. <sighs> So, oh, she's pretty. <laughs> she's really pretty. It occurred to me that I needed a new knife because my favorite one I lost over a year ago. Um, and then I've got this pretty one. It's a Boker Starfighter. As you can see, though, she's, uh, she's a little finicky. A uh, very pretty knife. But, like, it didn't actually come double-edged. I had to put an additional edge on it. And I broke it um, a couple days ago by opening it really hard. And the mechanism was too loose. Uh, so I put it back together and now it's too tight. But it's, friggin', it's pretty nice. <sighs> this one, on the other hand. Ooh, wrapped in plastic is like a Italian style stiletto blade. It's a spring assist, which I wasn't thrilled about. I prefer to actually flick my knives open. Um, you know, also there's the dubious legality of spring assist knives, but oh, it's just so beautiful. I had to go for it. Ooh, the first flick, the first flick of a new blade. I'm already at four minutes. Oh, sorry for all the build up. I am excited. All right, let's do it. Oh, she came right out, right out. If only I'd come out that quick. Um, but here is the blade up close. Look at you. 
handle and the it's got a thumb stud which I really appreciate um, you know I'm used to flippers by now but I prefer the thumb stud um, okay so the clip is built in it looks like oh no no it uh, it screws here in the middle so you could unscrew it and reverse the clip for you know left-handed but of course it's got a one-sided thumb stud that is riveted in so but if you're a lefty you're probably used to that anyway I used to always carry left-handed I because uh I've never been in a knife fight you know who who knows so I've seen a lot of Damascus steel knives that are not really Damascus steel they're just like a print on top of the blade that makes it look woven It says, handmade Damascus steel, handcrafted in PRC. Is that People's Republic of China? Uh, I don't know. Um, yep, it's not a D. I was really hoping it was the RC. I have a weird obsession with that country. Um, oof. Side view, always, you know, nice to see. Um, I'm going to flip her back in. Ooh. Now, uh, the blade sticks out the side, so I feel like it's going to dull. Uh, it didn't do that in the picture, but, you know, the pictures are always better. Um, mm, okay. Feels a little weirder with the flipper side, but it is engaged. Um, ooh, that's sharp. It's not as sharp as I was expecting. It's supposed to be razor sharp, but you know, they always say that and there never are. So let's give her a shot. Did I get one? Barely. I'm like squeezing out droplets. So I'm going to try her one more time. I guess I'm not as much of a masochist as I used to be. But it did draw blood. And you know, I'm not a super big fan of slicing myself with an unfamiliar blade or any blade. Um... Ugh. But, you know, it definitely arrived sharp. At least sharp enough. Um, and the bevel's pretty fine. I don't know if you can even really see that on camera. Um, the handle feels smooth. Uh, I mean, if it weren't for this great big old... Um, Clip, that's the word. I, I don't feel like I would have a real good grip. I'd be worried about it sliding. Um, plus, as a saber gripper, I'm always weird about having a one-edged blade. I prefer a two-edged blade. And this one, it's it looks like it was a false edge that I could maybe put an edge on, but it's actually very thick. Like, I would not want to even attempt to sharpen that down, as opposed to my boker. Just too tight. But, like, it had a false edge on this side, but it was at least fine enough that I could put an edge on it, and the handle's wide enough that it would fit inside. So... Ooh, I'm bleeding more than I anticipated. <laughs> Um, but I feel, this was $21, by the way, that's important to note. Uh, Red Deer Damascus Steel Folding Knife Spring Assist. Do I feel like I got my $21 worth? This, this old knife, by the way, is $17. Um, 
I almost bought a knife that looked exactly like this, but was slightly larger, made out of undoubtedly cheaper material. I'm just... I mean, the blade is definitely pretty. I am almost definitely going to have to put a new edge on her, though, because they just, they never sharp enough. But, I mean, at least it wasn't dull. Um, it's got a release mechanism. I don't even know what you call that, where you push the lever down. Lock bar? I want to say lock bar. Um, I guess I got my 20 bucks worth, but I'm just not as thrilled as I thought I would be. And this is the one package I was really, really, really anticipating. Oh my God. I spent 11 minutes making this video. That's ridiculous. It's going up, baby.